Well, if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace taking on Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. He's got the right idea with that pass. Opportunity, maybe. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. underway again the onus very much on Palace to find a response now Marcus Rashford well that's one for them to pursue well what a stop that was And there's the delivery. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again. The deep corner cuts out so many of those defenders, including the keeper, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. They do pass the ball with authority. MacArthur. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Fred. Intercepting it intelligently. Are you? Benteke. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Fred. Marcus Rashford. Sancho now. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it might still work out for them. Sancho. Rashford! And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here it is again. The build-up is so patient. They're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. And then through on goal, it just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Manchester. 
The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Anderson. Kuyate. Now Christian Benteke. Promising pass. Mitchell. That's a useful cross. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Sancho! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Trying to deliver it accurately, and blocked for now. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And over comes the corner. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as we can see again, it's a deep delivery into the box, which cuts out a lot of the defenders. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. This is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Well, we're almost at the halfway stage and they're not making home advantage work for them one little bit here. Stuart, your assessment. Well, I'm almost lost for words because this just hasn't been good enough. And it starts with their defending. The forwards haven't pressed the ball, the midfield players have been too loose, and the defenders haven't seen danger. I just can't see a way back. Oh, from wait, Stuart, they might score! And the keeper stretching to deny him. Playing it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Palace in the second? Bruno Fernandes. It's with McTominay. Sancho. Well, the pass not finding its target. Lovely ball over the top. And it all counts for naught. Bruno Fernandes. Getting forward. They've regained possession. De Gea. It's with McTominay. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Rashford. Rashford. Fred. On to Ronaldo. And back with Fred. Rashford. Robbed them. And that'll roll through to the keeper. 
the attack just fizzling out in the end. United have it once again. Bruno Fernandes has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, great vision. And the decision offside here. On to Bruno Fernandes. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Here's a change for Manchester United. minutes remaining now James MacArthur and well, they know they need to stop him are you Odson Edouard and that's an important intervention Odson Edouard and well, they couldn't keep possession Are you? It will be claimed by the keeper. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Marcus Rashford. Sancho now. Cavani. In the right place to cut out the pass. MacArthur. Well, they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And that is going to be a free kick. Elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And you need your defender to take charge. Cavani. Sancho now. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, it's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case, opting not to book him. Short and along the ground. 
And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Ezzy. The ball with Jordan Ayew. And just slightly offside. Rashford and that will be all a disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace a defeat here it was the nature of the performance more than anything else they never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park tell you what though I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now and on the back of this no doubt about it Cristiano 